So we're just going to put some garlic in the pan and olive, lots of olive oil. So it starts to get a little bit thin. And there we go. And we'll put about some paprika. A little bit. Just a little swirl. And I'm going to start feeding in my spinach. I'm just going to keep feeding in the spinach to get all roots down and gently cooked. So we're going to get great sun, uh, parmesan to go in the garlic as well. So I'll just get on with this while this spinach is cooling down. So hi everybody. Um, so today we're making a spinach burrick which we're going to bake in the oven. I've got my filo pastry here. I've got some uh, spinach that I've filled down with um, garlic and a little bit of paprika and some salt. I've got some grated um, hard cheese. It's a mixture of parmesan and grana padana which gives it a nice little sour taste. And I'll finish it off with them seeds on top. Some sesame and black nigella seeds and a sprinkling of paprika and I've cooked the spinach with some olive oil okay and I've got an oven tray ready which I've brushed um, with some olive oil so let's prepare our um, spinach first let's just leave that there for a minute okay we've got a nice feel of pastry circle it's a Turkish uh, filo pastry called the yufka just lift it up so you can see there we are. what I'm going to do is going to cut it down the middle let's just cut it down the middle over here it's going across it's about three layers here don't need to be too particular Okay, let's pop that one on top of the other one. There we go. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with spinach down there and I'm going to roll it up and pop it in the tray as I go along. So let's just readjust that uh, camera if we can a little bit. Sorry, it's a little bit crooked today, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so there we are. So I've um, spread the spinach on a big tray so it can cool um, quickly. I don't want it to be piping hot while I'm filling up the um, the burrick. So here we go. I've got rid of some of the juice that the spinach let out, but um, you can actually um, chop this spinach up fine. But you, you can leave it like in whole um, leaves like this as well. So I'm just going to keep it like this. And when spinach is cooked like this in its own juice, it um, has a really nice strong flavour. So we don't need to go crazy. Just put a little bit um, there at the end of the pastry. Put a little bit more. And then we can sprinkle it with a nice uh, amount of cheese. Now the cheese is quite strong so we don't really need that much in there. You can um, drizzle some olive oil in it as well, but I'm going to omit that. What we can do is um, just drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil on the top, which I think that's what I'm going to choose to do. So we're just going to keep the pastry quite tight if we can. So I want, I've opened this filo pastry two days ago. Um, it's still quite um, fairly soft. Hopefully it's not going to crack when I start turning, turning it round. Um, if it's fresh pastry, it shouldn't crack by right, and it'd be quite sort of pliable. So, I'm just going to roll it up like this, and then you can tuck that bit under. There we are. And then we're going to carry on doing the next one. I'll do one more together.
open. Obviously, if you don't eat cheese, you could use some something like mushrooms, or you could um, put some olives in there if you like. Um, what else could we put in there? Some roast peppers, maybe. Okay. Cheese and I think I did. There go. And we're going to pop that tray over here. So I'll just pause this and I'll get on with the rest. Okay, so we've got all our burrows ready. This one has got mushrooms in it, so I'm just going to uh, label that one separately. Um, the spinach, so we've got six burrows there. I'm just going to sprinkle it with a little bit of olive oil I'm going to cook it at moderate heat um, I'm using a gas oven so I'm setting it to about 6 and 7 but it doesn't um, heat up to its full optimum heat so um, I sort of uh, muck around with the heat a little bit while it's cooking what we don't want is it to burn I've got a little bit of uh, paprika to go on top a tiny sprinkle, not necessarily uh, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Um, if you if you can spare the ca um, calories, you can actually um, layer it with olive oil while making it, but I don't want it to be that rich, and there's a fair bit of um, olive oil in the spinach filling already. So I just like to decorate it with a few seeds. And there's a nigella seeds going on. This one I'll put more on, there's mushroom on that, so it really doesn't like mushrooms. And so that's ready to go in the oven. And I'll cook it off now. And we'll have a look later. Okay, ready? So our spinach burke is out of the oven now. It's still quite hot. So let's take one out and have a look at it. Um, so the way um, this has uh, been in the oven for a good um, 40 minutes, um, sort of medium heat. Um, I've actually brushed it with a little bit of olive oil halfway through the cooking because it was looking just a little bit dry. And when it's cooked, you'll know it's cooked because um, you could start smelling the spinach and it might sort of leave out some of its juices okay as you can see there's a little bit of juice down there excuse me in the tray just a, bit, a little bit there okay let's take one piece out let's take this piece here in the middle I'll just quickly show you the base I could then leave that in even longer if I wanted to, but um, 40 minutes um, is a very adequate amount of time to ensure all that um, pastry is cooked through. So let's have a little cut. You see this in there? Little tunnels of spinach going through, like um, like a rolled up um, cannelloni almost. Right, it might be a little bit too hot, but I'll, um, I'll try a little bit anyway. So I've got a little bit of an itchy nose. Let's hopefully, it won't be too hot. Mmm, hot, hot. Mm. that's lovely very tasty spinach um, and it's and it's got a really sort of moorish flavour that with that uh, parmesan cheese and the spinach together they might be really well but in all honesty next time I do it I will actually um, brush the filo pastry with um, the olive oil before I start rolling it up and that will even add more flavour and um, keep it more moist while it's cooking so that will be a better way to do it so that's your um, spinach burek um, that's rolled up and baked in the oven and the next time I make a burek in the oven I'll bake it with a um, savoury custard so we'll, we'll watch out for that one okay I hope you've enjoyed that video